What's up everybody? This is John here. Uh, I'm doing this video to talk a little bit about um, one of the songs out of our new record, The Dance Between Extremes. The song is called Our Song. And um, well, first of all, uh, this, is, this is one of the last songs that we wrote for that record. And um, it, it was written actually like literally a week before the uh, recording. So um, it was very exciting for us, for all of us, because we were, you know, just uh, getting ready for, for the record, doing pre-production, um, figuring out all the, uh, the structures and the, the last details for each song, you know, before going to the studio. And um, uh, we started jamming with this old riff that we had from a long time ago. And uh, the whole song came out and it's beautiful, we love it. And um, yeah, so, um, well, first of all, the tuning, the tuning for this song, this is a tuning that we use a lot. Well, there's a few songs on that record and the, on the one before too, on the previous record as well. So it's, uh, it's an open D tuning. It sounds like this. And it goes D, A, D, D again, A, E. Uh, it's a pretty nice and a little weird tuning. Uh, it has this double D right in the middle of it. And uh, that gives you uh, the option of doing really like different things that you wouldn't do if you had you know, if you were playing a uh, standard tuning uh, guitar. So that's pretty awesome. So, um, okay, so after the, the intro that goes, that I do like just chords, you know, with the vocals, there's this first riff that goes like this. <laughs> Let me play a little slower. This is... So I think it's it's very cool when um, there's like a little little detail to it. Like, well, first of all, going going to the uh, the riff, you know, doing the slide. And doing the slide off. You know, so when we go to the riff, we do the slide, and we go off the riff, we do, we do the, the slide. And, um, and the open, very open chord at the end, that gives you a very, um, very different flavor to it, you know? Instead of doing just a riff, just a note right here, and then the chord, you know? Um, so it goes... thing about this riff on the record that if you um, if you want to do that you can go just go ahead and uh, listen to it again very closely and you'll see that um, you hear it um, there is a um, 12 string acoustic guitar doing the same riff like uh, underneath the guitars and that's really really cool it gives like just a little uh, just like a different flavor to it as well you know which is pretty cool um, there is that, and there is this other uh, very interesting uh, thing about this song. I do this, um, it's almost like a solo um, with, um, the, during the, um, the uh, instrumental part of it. There's this uh, big instrumental part right after the second chorus. And I do this uh, patterns of five. So uh, I'm, I'm talking about like rhythm, the, the, the accents. It's like um, using five notes uh, instead of four. So we were playing four four, but I'm doing accents, uh, repeating this structure of fives. You know, so it goes like. Um, then, and I keep like doing things 
uh, with this. So it's mainly um, a five, but there's like a few other, you know, uh, things here and there that gives you gives it a different um, um, feel to it as well. But um, this is another thing uh, that I come back to the um, tuning for this song that using the double D right here, I can uh, do, the, instead of doing on the same uh, string, you know, I use the other string to do the other note. So I, I, I have a little bit more of the overlapping of it. You know? It's very, very, it's slightly, like very, you know, a little detail, but it's really cool. And there's also like a phaser, you know, using a few uh, effects. I don't have my pedals here, but um, this was just to show you a little bit um, about the song. I hope you enjoyed it, and I see you soon. Cheers.